Hey, it's Ryan over at Two Minute Tennis, and this video is all about how to hold the racket correctly. I actually get this question a lot, so I wanted to make this video to help you all out. So first, you have to understand that there are two things we need to worry about, the hand and the racket itself. So first, the hand. There are two places on the hand you must know about, the base knuckle of your index finger and your heel pad, and there's a straight line drawn between the two. Next, we have to understand the racket. First, always have the racket on its edge. Having it flat is not gonna help you. Always have the racket on edge. You'll have the orientation correct so that when you, under, when you start counting the bevels, it makes sense. There are eight bevels. It is an octagon. And by the way, a bevel is a flat side. It's not a corner, right? Bevel is a flat side. So when we count as righties, we count to the right. Lefties count to the left. Bevel one is on top, no matter if you're a lefty or a righty. Bevel two would be this 45 degree angle bevel. By the way, each bevel is 45 degrees different than the previous bevel, 360 divided by eight. Bevel two, that's the continental. Bevel three, that would be an Eastern forehand. Bevel four, which is a semi-Western. And bevel five, which is a full Western. So that's if you're right-handed. By the way, I didn't say bevel one is an Eastern backhand. If you're a lefty, bevel one, Eastern backhand. Bevel two, continental. Bevel three, Eastern forehand bevel four, semi-Western forehand, and bevel five, full Western. The top bevel is Eastern backhand for both lefties and righties. The bottom bevel is full Western for both righties and lefties. So what about this line? Like, what are we doing with this line on our hand? We have to take this line and place it on, theoretically, one of those eight bevels. Now, you wouldn't use all eight bevels when you're playing, but you got the idea. We have to take this line and place it on one of the bevels. So let's take Roger Federer's forehand grip, for instance. He's right-handed. Where'd, where'd my pen go? Here we go. He's right-handed, so we count to the right. So bevel one, bevel two, the 45-degree angle, uh, angle slanted bevel. Bevel three is the eastern forehand. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this line and we're going to place it on bevel number three. So if you notice, if I open up my hand, you cannot see that line. It's covered up by the racket. Why? Because that's the proper way to lay the racket in the hand. You don't want to be like this. And the racket shifts in your hand. The whole reason for those two spots is it gets the racket securely in the hand and actually the relationship between the arm and the racket is a nice natural angle. So what you need to do is just find the grips that make sense for you. For me, the acceptable range for a forehand grip would be an Eastern to a semi-Western for most recreational players. For a lefty, again, Eastern is on number three, one, two, three. And for a lefty, the bottom left slanted diagonal line or bevel is number four, and that's a semi-Western. Let's say you're understanding the serve a little more and you're wanting to use a continental grip. That's bevel number two. So I just take this line. You can even draw the line if you wanted to on your hand. You take this line and you place it on bevel number two. Again, if I open up my hand, <laughs> you don't see the line. Why? Because it's covered up with the racket. Again, the line's there. I'm just covering it up. So you just take this line and you place it on one of the eight bevels. Below, I've written all the strokes and all the grips I recommend that you use to play your best tennis. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. Also, tag a friend who you're pretty certain doesn't quite understand the grips, maybe as, as well as you do, and I'll talk to you all real soon.